it's contributing and, and, it's, and it's working. Um, so we're making an enormous amount of progress and of course um, we've got Auckland Transport set up which is a, a huge organisation, probably too big in my view, um, but that'll, that'll work out over time, but it is actually working, um, I'm, I'm pleased to say. But I, I guess um, I should talk about some of the challenges and the, there's the, the obvious challenge we face is a, a hostile government, which I believe is um, lagging behind public opinion right across New Zealand in the way that it favours you know, roads and urban sprawl rather than um, public transport and um, rail rapid transit. Um, unfortunately, Despite all appearances that the minister is a very intelligent, sophisticated guy, um, it would seem uh, now he's been in office for nearly three years that uh, when it comes to public transport, uh, he's you know he's too conservative. He's quite primitive, um, which is tragic given his ability and the power he has. So that's and. That is a major challenge and, and that's been exemplified by the fiasco around the central rail link. Um, but we're working through it. The, the good thing is that Auckland Transport and Auckland Council are rock solid in support of pushing ahead with the, with the, with the city rail link. And what, they, what we will do is um, in formal resolutions from the Transport Committee have been confirmed by the governing body by a margin of, of 18 votes to two. George Wood uh, and um, Dick Quacks voted against, so I should let you know that. But um, 18 to two is pretty good. My, my, my friend and colleague, um, Christine Fletcher, in order, who's a leader of the CNR group, I think in order to reassure her colleagues at the governing body meeting where we discussed this, um, said that, you know, this is not the final step, it's just one step along the way. But when I realised that we were going to win, I said, no, no, this, this is the major step, you know, there's no turning back, and, and, it, and that is true. Um, so that's, that, that's very positive. Um, but there are other challenges, and, and, and perhaps a, 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 a thing that really worries me is, is the growing costs of infrastructure. You know, I, I've always been deeply sceptical that the, that the city rail link would cost over $2 billion. It, it seems a, a lot of money, but, you know, the, the experts have, this is one thing that the government and Auckland agrees on, the price. It's the only thing they agree on. But then you think of the, you, hear, you read about the Milo uh, Viaduct Bridge in France, which is the world's highest bridge and um, higher than the Eiffel Tower and an engineering and architectural marvel and that costs 400 million euro and Stephen Joyce's second harbour bridge is the cheap option and that costs between three to four billion New Zealand dollars. Now I think 400 million euros around about uh, half a billion New Zealand, half a billion New Zealand dollars. So that's odd. And then you, you, you see our Chinese friends have just completed a, 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 a bridge, 42 kilometre bridge um, uh, across Jiaohua uh, uh, Bay, and that's $1.8 billion. That's 42 kilometres. That's still half the price of, say, a, a future Auckland Harbour Bridge. Something is seriously wrong with our uh, cost structure in New Zealand and it's something that we're going to have to grapple with um, if we're going to get progress. Because it can't, if we're going to pay those prices, you know, the, the, the conservatives will be right. We, we won't be able to afford it. Um, but I don't, I don't believe that, that those prices are correct. And I even remember telling Helen Clark some years ago that I, I suspect we're being ripped off by the construction sector. And that, I started thinking along those lines, and it's, it's more or less intuitive. Um, but 
in 2006, Michael Cullen brought down a, a, a major transport project, was, was virtually all roads at, uh, in that year, but it was huge. But when I looked at what was in it, they were all, there were no new projects, they were all top-ups for existing projects. And I th even thought then, hey, something is seriously wrong about this. Uh, you know. But anyway, that, that's one of the challenges. <coughs> The, the, the other challenge, I believe, is um, uh, our admin costs um, and also the pressure from the government for 50% 50 50 fare box return. Um, when, when you think of what's happening in Wellington, um, I, it should be a cautionary tale. The Wellington Regional Council, for me, has always been a model and a template. And when, you know, years ago in the ARC, when when people had no awareness of what was going on uh, with rail and Wellington, I was the strongest advocate for benchmarking and learning and all the rest of it from Wellington. But um, Wellington's rail patronage has been flatlining just over 11 million. In fact, it's come down a bit for two or three or more years now, and I think this is due to two things. One, um, uh, the uh, uh, enormous amount of disruption that um, passengers have had to experience because of the up upgrade, and that's kind of necessary, but you wonder about the efficiency of the way Kiwi Rail is doing stuff. The other uh, element, I believe, in this flatlining of public transport in Wellington, which um, has been the benchmark for me, is constant and quite significant fair price rises. Um, one thing about a market, it does send signals, <coughs> and uh, what has happened in Wellington is that um, the same uh, price rises have, have been applied to buses, and bus patronage in some ways has gone down. Um, um, and people have come, uh, are going back to their cars. So we in Auckland need to learn from that um, and not be too willing to follow Stephen Joyce's commands to have a 50% um, return on fare boxes. The other thing that, that, that Auckland should be worried about is that, that for a number of historic reasons, not good ones either, our um, public transport, OPEX and admin is quite a lot higher than Wellington. So when you think of 50%, 50 percent of what, you know, um, um, if we had 50% um, return on Auckland, then that would be a higher than a 50% of Wellington, which has has a lower a cost structure, especially around rail. Um, so that, that, that those are real concerns that we we need to address, even if we didn't have trouble with uh, Humpty Joyce and all the rest of it. Um, we, we have um, uh, questions of efficiency uh, and effectiveness to extract the best value of the investment that we have made in Auckland already. It's the same um, in regard to, you know, it, I think last month the, 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 the um, number of um, passenger time delays due to uh, not so much infrastructure faults, but train faults has gone up. And again, you have to wonder what the new management of Kiwi Rail, um, how effective it is. And it's something that we need to, to keep on top of. We don't want to turn off um, our people, Aucklanders, um, are taking up public transport as, 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 as they haven't for, for decades. And the, um, I figure that sometime late this year we will actually overtake Wellington in terms of rail patronage. And I, and I was thinking, I was becoming so confident um, that I was thinking of announcing some sort of a sweepstake. And then I heard four week block of line uh, to install, you know, the um, electric turnery and all the rest of it and, and, the, and the civil engineering and stuff. And I thought, well, that will slow down momentum a little bit. So Wellington may still keep ahead, but um, yeah. So that's that's. So we have um, some really good news, but also some concerns, and um, 
and there's still a lot to do, and therefore the new setup in Auckland, which is working reasonably well, um, um, needs your support and, and needs your involvement and um, continuing activism, which has been, you know, very successful in recent years. And so I, I think I'll leave it at, at that and, and answer some questions. Thank you.